hi everyone welcome back to my channel in this video you will learn how to find the least common multiple and the greatest common factor of the given numbers in this presentation I'll be showing you two ways how to find the least common multiple and the greatest common factor of the given numbers so without much ado let's get started Let's have the first example on finding the least common multiple of the given numbers. So let's have 12, 15, and 20. The, per the first method that I'll be showing you is by using the prime factorization. So we're going to list down the prime factors of 12, 15, and 20. So to do that, let's have 12, 15, and 20. What are the prime factors of 12? So we have 2 times 2 times 3. And that will give us 12. What about for 15? For 15, we have 3 times 5. What about for 20? For 20, we have 2 times 2 times 5. And that will give us 20, all right? The next thing that you need to do is to simply bring down these prime factors. So to do that, we have 2 times 2 times 3 times 5, all right? And so, what is the product of 2 times 2 times 3 times 5? Alright, so 2 times 2 is 4, times 3 is 12, times 5 is 60. And so, therefore, the least common multiple of 12, 15, and 20 is 60. Alright, now the next method that I'll be showing you is by using the listing method meaning we're going to list down the multiples of 12, 15, and 20. So to do that, we'll have 12, 15, and 20. So what are the multiples of 12? So the multiples of 12 are as follows. We have 12, 12 plus 12 is 24, 24 plus 12 is 36, 36 plus 12 is 48, 48 plus 12 is 60, and so on. Okay. What about for 15? For 15, we have 15. 15 plus 15 is 30. 30 plus 15 is 45. 45 plus 15 is 60. 60 plus 15 is 75, and so on. All right. What about for 20? For 20, we have 20, 40, 60. And 60 plus 20 is 80. 80 plus 20 is 100, and so on. All right. So, what have you noticed now? Okay, if you notice, there is a common multiple among these three numbers 12, 15, and 20. And what is that number? Okay, so if you notice, 60 is common among these three numbers. Okay, meaning the least common multiple of 12, 15, and uh, 20 is also. 60. So we arrive at the same answer. Okay. So it's up to you to choose uh, which of these two methods you are uh, comfortable using in finding the least common multiple of the given numbers. All right. Let's have another example on finding the least common multiple of the given numbers. All right. This time let's have 16, 8, and 32. So again, uh, let's have uh, first by prime factorization. Okay, so we're going to list down the prime factors of 16, 8, and 32. So let's have 16, 8, and 32. What are the prime factors of 16? So we have 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, and that will give us 16. All right. What about for 8? For 8, we have 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8 all right what about for 32 so 2 times 2 times 2 that's 8 times 2 that's 16 times 2 that's 32 all right so the next thing that you need to do is to simply bring down these prime factors so we have 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 all right and the next thing that you need to do is to multiply this. 
So 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16, times 2 is 32. And so therefore, the least common multiple of 16, 8, and 32 is 32. Alright. So now, let's have by listing method. So we're going to list down the multiples of 16, 8, and 32. So the multiples of 16 are as follows. So we have 16, 32, 48, 64, 80, and so on. Alright. What about for 8? For 8, we have 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, and so on. Alright. Now, what about for 32? For 32, we have 32. 32 time, uh, plus 32 is 64. And then we have 96. And we have 128. And we have 160, and so on. Alright, so these are the, pro the multiples of 32. Now, can you spot the number or the common multiple of 16, 8, and 32? Alright, so if you notice, we have, we have here 32, which is common to these three numbers. Okay. 16, 8, and 32. And so therefore, the least common multiple of 16, 8, and 32 is 32. Alright? So that's how simple it is to find the least common multiple of the given numbers. Let's proceed to finding the greatest common factor of the given numbers. Alright? This time let's have 12, 16, and 20. So again, I'll be showing two ways to find the greatest common factor of the given numbers. So the first one would be by using the prime factorization. All right, so let's have 12, 16, and 20. So again, what are the prime factors of 12? So we have 2 times 2 times 3. All right, what about 16? 16, we have 2 times 2. That's 4 times 2, that will give us 8 times 2, and that will give us 16. What about for 20? For 20, we have 2 times 2 times 5, and that will give us 20. Alright, the next thing that you need to do is to bring down the prime factors that are common to these three numbers, 12, 16, and 20. And if you have observed, the prime factors that are common to 12, 16, and uh, 20 are this one and this one. Alright? So, you multiply 2 times 2 and that will give you 4. Therefore, the greatest common factor of 12, 16, and 20 is 4. Alright? So, I hope you can follow. Now, let's have another method, and that is by listing method. This time, we'll be listing down the factors of 12, 16, and 20. So, what are the factors of 12? Okay, so I have 12, 16, and 20. So, the factors of 12 are 1 and 12, because 1 times 12 is 12. 2 and 6, because 2 times 6 is 12. We have 3 and 4 because 3 times 4 is also 12. Okay? So, if we're going to list down that in in order, in decreasing order, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. These are the factors of 12. Alright? What about for 16? So, 16, we have 1 and 16 because 1 times 16 is 16. 2 and 8 because 2 times 8 is 16. 4 times 4 is also 16, alright? So, the, the factors of 16 are 1, 2, 4, 8, and 16, alright? What about for 20? For 20, we have 1 and 20 because 1 times 20 is 20. 2 times 10 is also 20. And 4 times 5 is also 20, alright? And so, the factors of 20 are... 1, 2, 4, 5, 
10 and 20. All right. Now, let's look for the greatest common factor of these three numbers. All right. If you notice, there are two numbers that are common or there are two factors that are common to these three numbers. What are they? So let's highlight them. The first one is this one. 2 is common to 12, 16, and 20. I mean, 2 is a common factor of 12, 16, and 20. But 4 is also common to these three, a common factor of these three numbers. But since we are looking for the greatest common factor, okay? And so we will choose 4 because 4 is greater than 2, okay? And so therefore, the greatest common factor of 12, 16, and 20 by listing method is 4. All right? So we arrive at the same answer. Okay? Let's have the last example on finding the greatest common factor of the given numbers. This time, let's have 16, 8, and 32. All right. So let's have uh, by prime factorization. So let's have 16, 8, and 32. So what are the prime factors of 16? So we have 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. All right, what about for 8? For 8, we have 2 times 2 times 2. And what about for 32? For 32, we have 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. That's uh, 16 times 2. That will give us 32. All right. So the next thing that you need to do is to bring down the prime factors that are common to 16, 8, and 32. What are they? All right, so we have this one, two times this one, okay, two times this one, two. All right, so if we're going to multiply two times two times two, that will give us eight. And so the greatest common factor of 16, 8, and 32 is eight. All right, now let's have by listing method. So let's try to list down the factors of 16, 8, and 32. So 16, 8, and 32. So what are the factors of 16? So we have 1, 2, 4, 8, and 16. All right. So 16 times 1 is 16, 2 times 8 is 16, and 4 times 4 is 16. What about for 8? For 8, we have 1, 2, 4, and 8. All right, so 1 times 8 is 8, 2 times 4 is 8. All right, and for 32, we have 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, and 32. So we have 1 times 32 is 32, 2 times 16 is 32, 4 times 8 is also 32. All right, so what are the factors that are common to 16 and 32? Okay, let's highlight them. Let's have the color red. So the first one is 2. Okay, 2 as factor is common to 16, 8, and 32. Okay, another one is 4. 4 as a factor is also common to uh, 16, 8, and 32. And lastly, we have uh, let's use color green. We have 8. 8 is also common as a factor to 16, 8, and 32. And since again we're looking for the greatest common factor, and so 8 is the greatest common factor among 16, 8, and 32. And so the greatest common factor of 16, 8, and 32 is 8. And so we arrive at the same answer all right so i hope you find this video helpful and if you are uh, interested to learn more about math and statistics you might want to subscribe to this channel and kindly click also the notification bell so that you'll be updated every time i upload my uh, video tutorial on statistics and mathematics 
Alright, so thank you for watching and I hope to see you in my next video.